Mariner, huh? They went, they went up a lot, you know. What do you think of that? Like that? Twenty-five hundred right now. We close the deal. Listen, we're selling them. Uh, is this the? It's a forty. It's a forty. What's the? Yeah, it's a scramble. Listen, they went. You want to say? Most people won't see it. Just watch his face. See it, Most man. people won't see it. I told you, you won't see it. I'd see it because I know. How you doing, my nephew? Hey, Carlos. Now that you're talking, I, you know, I was looking Boy, at it. Listen, just, that like, coffee's out of hand. So a lot of people are going to eat that shit. I wonder now when you open it. I'm going to open it. Charlie's going to open it now. We're going to judge you. Look at this. Like, I guarantee you. Look. Close the band and open it, right? Go like this. Oh, I like to take it. Look, he said he took it to uh, what is it? Aventura. Aventura, and they told him they was good to go. Look at it. No, the okay. It has a crown and the crystal, huh? No? Wow, that's crazy. That's a crazy fake. But I, I, I mean, could the tell. Links, the links feel cheap. Just close the close the band on this, Bobby. You open it, clack clack. See it, close it, and then do that one. Yeah, yeah. the bracelet does a lot. No, you look Yeah. Uh, feel it. You see, it feels weird. Yeah. It feels weird. You know, yeah. what does it make that? That's crazy. good. That's one of the best uh, copies I've ever seen. Make use of an offer right now. Let me call him. <laughs> me, I pay you 150 bucks you right the, now. The Baba? Where's the uh, Baba? I sold it. Yeah. Uh, but look, the Baba? it just. Bro, when you touch him, you touch him. Go like this. Go like this. Go like this. I do this every day, man. So, you know, I, I spot, you know what I'm saying? Like this white here on the ceramic, it's too bright. Too bright of a white. See? Yellow is okay. You see the color? The color gave it off already, a little bit. The markers... Me haga pelazo. ¿Cuánto paga por eso? How much will you pay for that one? One to six or one one six? Eh, forty. One one. We have to open it. We have to open it. Why? Okay. To check. You don't like it? Mm -hmm. See? It feels weird, right? Yeah. Hey, the mic. Hey, the mic. Hey, the mic. Need to learn more about stuff, buddy. <laughs> I didn't even like that. It felt that weird. That's fake. why it's I didn't weird, want man. to say You felt it because I told you. No, I didn't want to say it. Listen. I told you. you want me to say it? I'll buy off at 150. Take all the stickers and hit it. Somebody over here for sure. They will eat it. But just a wait, Nick. Go like that. Wind it. Wind it. See ya, Carlos. Bye, Bobby. Love you, nephew. Have a good one, brother. Thank you. Yeah, you've been there. Your basement. One second. Huh? Yeah. Open, open. At this point, I don't even need to open. You don't need to open. That's what I told you. Yeah. But, but I want to open to see what the hell is inside. Yeah. So you do have to. Chinese moon. Huh? Yeah. Chinese moon. Sure, sure it's Chinese moon. One of the best copies I've ever seen, at least on the outside. We'll see until we open it and see what it looks like. It's the real ones, and then you see a fake, you can spot it from a mile away, man. I, for me, it's like... It's like me, the same for me. When I see a car from far away, I'm yeah. painted or not painted. Just the look. You know, look, Marcus, they're so blanco, 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 and they're see, not that white. It's painted. Papi. A thousand million percent. Oh, yeah. So this is one of the best copies I've seen, at least from the outside, without looping. So we're going to open it. And, uh, you know, I bet my whole entire story against the Rolex Manor. If this shit is real, he gets to run C. He gets to run C. I am Judas. No, not him. The owner gets to run C. I am Judas. But, He's the middle man. Don't put me in the right, middle. Right, right, right. And he went to Aventura Mall where all the big dealers are, and they said, good to go. Watch is good to go. You'll see how good they were. Mm -hmm. Watch this. 
Dan da da dan 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 da da dan dan Chinese movement Chinese movement Fake 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 No 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 Mira los coño mira los relojitos But people said this is good to go. Like I don't understand. Look, I'm gonna show you guys here, real quick, without comparing one side by side. Look at the angle of the rahal in here. You can see it's like a concave in. Pero muy buena copia. Muchos dealers dijeron que era verdad. So they, they sell it as like a real watch. You can see the angle in here next to the bezel. Yeah. Is what gives it away. And the movement. Yeah. Yeah. But multiple dealers said it's good, it's good, it's good. It's not good. You can tell. You can tell right away. The thing is, is that the watches speak to you. And listen, let's put this close. Night and day. Night and day. I think. Out of all the fakes I've seen, that's the best fake, but I still spot it. Like, no, but from the outside, it's pretty good. It's just that, that, you know, for me, what gives it up, the markers are too white. Abby, you want to take a picture of it? So I didn't lose my store. It was a fake. <laughs> so you've been doing it wrong for 20-something years. Don't worry, homie. It's probably like a fifteen hundred dollar copy. Maybe there is some copies that they ask five hundred, six hundred. They say number one original yeah. copy. Yeah. Like they say, that's one on one. You good? My save his life. And you saved you seven thousand dollars. Yeah, and that was cheap. You owe me a drink at a bar when you see me. <laughs> sure, you got it, man. Thank you, brother. Okay, so a client just came in, and he had a Richard Mill. He goes, "Hey, can you change the strap?" My dad brought him to my desk and the glass and, and the case of the watch looked a little too shiny. And I was like, but I'm not going to disrespect this guy and say it's a fake watch. And when he gave it to me, I started looking. And I was like, wow, it's funny, but I'm still not going to say it's fake. It just, it looks weird. But then he told me he paid 350,000 euros for this fake thing. So let's go check it out. So this here is a watch you paid 350,000 euros for? 350,000 euros. What does that convert to? 350,000 euros, two dollars. 380,310.77. What I noticed off the bat was a shiny glass and the case here and the weight. I wish I had a real one. So, this is a, a really bad fake that somebody left us. This is a really, really bad fake. And then you can see that there's a movement and that's just like a, a, a cap over it. So there's an automatic movement in the middle. You can see that it's shiny and the glass reflects. If you get, um, if you, 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 it feels like, the other one goes, like uh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna we're, gonna out, we're gonna bring out one here, now. Go like this, you can feel it. Here, let's compare. So this is not a Bubba Watson. You can't get a Bubba Watson here. You don't have one, nobody No, no Bubba Watson. You see? Just, hear the sound, it goes click, click. And this just goes, even though this says titanium, you can see here it's not the same. I don't know if this is a cheap titanium or a stainless steel. You can see here when you were opening it versus if you get, again, it's not a bubble, but it's a white ceramic or mill. A lot more, you hear that snap? It's, the material is good. It's not like this one, that this one is really bad. But that squeaky of the movement, oh, the Richard Mille's I haven't got there yet. Yeah, yeah. Wait up, we're comparing the bands. What do you think about but the bands? It, but it's one of the best ones I bought in Europe. Probably see one here. I have correct. I've, yeah. I would say this is a very, very good copy. Of uh, unfortunately, it's a very good copy. And so, they give you papers enough. Do you know who you bought it from? We are planning for the ultimate famous band. He's answering the phone. It sounds like he's not answering. 
Okay. You say he will reimburse you the money? Awesome. No, 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 no. It's better for you to collect the money than do that. Be smart, try to collect your money and forget about it. Listen, maybe he got duped too. God knows. Okay. So we're gonna do a comparison between a real Richard Mill and then two copies. One is a super clone and one is just a bad Chinese uh, copy. We're gonna compare overall case, glass. Again, this is not the same model, but it's very similar in materials. So you can see here on this one, I'm gonna pick them both up, okay? I'm gonna get the super clone versus the real one. You can see that the ceramic on the super clone and then the finishing of the screws is a little off. The glass is a lot more reflective here. <clears throat> the spacing of the crown, let's flip it this way. Wait, 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 you go leave it back there on camera. The space of the crown, this crown is a lot more tucked in than this one here. Is this one protrudes out a little bit more, there's more gap there. The straps, look how thin the loops on the straps are versus how thick they are here. The clasp, you can see this is shining. The machining, the craftsmanship looks a lot better on this one. This has a raspy sound. It's like, it's like graining, raspy sound. Versus if you get this one here, and you rotate the crown, it's very smooth. You almost feel no resistance. It just feels like it's spinning on bearings in there. You can see the finish on the movement. Again, not the same movement, but you can look at the details. And these screws are black. They're like this dark black color when they're supposed to be this titanium color as well. You can see here, this is just completely off. It's very thick, has a cover on the movement with an automatic movement in the side. The holes on the band are a lot larger the holes on the fins, the bracelet. Look at the clasp comparison. And then last but not least, let's look at the size of the screws. All right. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm going to use this uh, thermal scientific precious metal analyzer, but it also tells you other metals. And I'm gonna scan the three clasps of the watches to see what metals are in there. Let's start with this very, very, very bad Chinese copy. I'm just gonna do a two second scan or a couple seconds. Here you can see it's nickel, iron, chromium, copper, and I don't know what MN is. Now we're gonna test the super clone. It says titanium here in the clasp, let's see. So we have Nickel, iron, uh, chromium, MN again, and titanium. So we do have titanium in this one. Then now let's test the real Richard Mill. Wow. And it has a lot more materials and titanium. So I think that's rhodium. I don't know what RU is. That's nickel. And only like 11% iron where the other, the fake one was like 70 something percent. Yeah. Is that different metals? Yeah. yeah. So there we go. So this is why when people ask me what to look for when you're purchasing a fake watch or, or when you're purchasing a watch, how to check that it's not fake. It's not one thing you can look for. As you see from here to here, there's a big difference. From here to here, there's a big difference. And it's very easy to spot this is fake. You don't need any knowledge in watches or even in Richard Mill to see that this is a fake watch. But something like this, these super clones, they get better and better. And if you're not very educated in Richard Mill or in how to spot watches, period, because it goes across all the brands, it's just craftsmanship, you can get screwed over really quickly. And as you see, unfortunately, um, this fellow client and, and dealer lost around 380,000 US dollars 